All right, so here's what we're going to do. We have two point files that we need to merge into one. And we're going to use kind of the maroon one as our base since that has most of the points. The problem is there's a few attributes that are in this topos file that we need to get into the, the new file um, that aren't um, overlapping. There's a couple different ways that we can merge these files. Um, the easiest would be under geoprocessing uh, and then go to merge. Uh, the problem is, I tried that before and we have all these different, um, we have attributes that have different uh, lengths in these fields. So for example, rusted in one file has a character limit of two and another one it's character limit of three. So that kind of presents a problem. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create kind of a blank field, this MDUS field, and we're going to make that in this in this file that we want to merge with it. All right, so now we have the common field in both. What we're going to do we're going to right click make this editable the, the invis file is going to be editable the topos file we're not going to make editable but we're going to make it selectable so that's the only one that we can select we have them selected now we're going to go up to edit copy edit paste we're going to paste them into the invis file and you should see now if we turn this off that those went away. All right, if we scroll down, we'll see them at the bottom of this invis file. Those are the ones we just pasted in. And anytime there's a overlapping field or column, it's gonna paste it in. And so we added that MDUS right in there. Um, you know, they came through Granted, there's zeros on this other one, which is okay. That's not a concern right now. So we got them in here. We can actually stop editing. Uh, going to add a field. We're going to call this elevation one because we have to convert the current elevation here. to a new elevation that has the bottom of the culvert. So what we're going to do is take that elevation file, subtract the diameter of the culvert, which is that MDUS file. However, that is in feet. We need to go to inches. And so the conversion for that is 0 0.0833. So a 20 or a 12 inch culvert, um, you know, for example, will be multiplied by that um, 0.08 to get into feet, and put that in quotes so that our map does that first. Hit OK. All right. So the the elevations of the the first file, the original Invis file were already corrected or those were, were shot at the bottom of the culvert so those don't need to be corrected down but the ones that were shot only at the top of the culvert need to be corrected downward and so for example this highlighted one was 24 inch diameter or two foot diameter pipe it was shot on the elevation was shot on top so we basically subtracted two feet from it to get our corrected elevation value.